Hello world, hello YouTube lands. I've decided to do something a little bit different today. Um, instead of just doing a, a review of one comic, I'm going to do a first, it's a battle. A comic battle. You've got uh, Justice League of America or Trinity War Part 4 of 6. It's, it's Justice League of America Part 7. And first is Batman number 23, zero year. So we've got Scott Snyder versus Jeff Lemire and Jeff Jones. Both, both DC comics, of course. I've got a little list here of uh, different categories. Uh, where did I get the categories from? And it's made them up. Um, so they're, they're the sort of things that I, I look for in, in, in a decent comic. I've got ten things here. I'll go through them uh, as quickly as possible and hopefully get this um, review done in, in under about ten minutes. Right, so the first category. Uh, there'll be no spoilers. I'm not doing any spoilers in my reviews nowadays. Right, so the first category, action. Uh, Batman has um, Bruce Wayne getting beaten up and stripped up by his butler, so that, that's quite usual for Batman really, isn't it? And uh, Trinity War had bombs going off and one main villain fight, so the winner there is Trinity War. Uh, plot development. Uh, Batman, you already know what's happening here, it's, it's just an origin story, that's, that's what that comic is, uh, um, not much going on there. Uh, Trinity War, there's lots of stuff going on and involving lots of different characters, and it ends with one character um, taking something very important, won't mention what it is, uh, but you might guess if you're following this series. Uh, character, de um, sorry, the, the winner of that one was sort of Trinity War again. Uh, character development. Um, Batman, there's, there's not much character development because you know where they're going. So um, they want a bit of a loser there. Uh, Trinity War, we've got um, um, one of their superheroes or heroines called Atom. Uh, she reveals some truth to the group, and, and then she realises that you cannot do something bad and expect no consequences. So the, the winner for that one is, um, again, Trinity War. Uh, number four, villains. Uh, Batman's got the Riddler and the Red Hood, but uh, Trinity War's got Lex Luthor. <laughs> so he's one of the main uh, top villains in, um, in um, all comic books. So again, Trinity War, Trinity War has to win that one. The surprise is, Batman, none. Zero, zero, nothing. Trinity War uh, starts off with Lex Luthor. So the first panel was Lex Luthor, and it's the first time he's been introduced to this, this storyline art. And it's got a bomb going off in the middle of it. And at the end, there's a big, big surprise at the end as well. So Trinity War wins again. Uh, the dialogue of the comics. I've got um, two examples here. This is from Batman first. People are afraid uh, of the nothingness of us all, Bruce. Stare into it and try to find meaning. You all go mad. All you can do is fear and survive. And that's Red Hood talking to Bruce Wayne, and I find that very depressing, very nihilistic. But uh, yeah, typical Batman, really, I suppose. Uh, Trinity War. Uh, someone set the alien up for a fall, and for a change, it wasn't me. I'm a bit jealous, I will admit. That's Lex Luthor talking about an, um, Superman killing Dr. Light. So there's a lot of humour in that one. Uh, in, the, in, the, in the first one, uh, it's just nihilistic and dark and depressing. So for me, uh, my own personal preference, um, the winner, again, Trinity War. For dialogue and um, art, this is this is much more closer. We've got Doug, Doug Mankey for Trinity War, and it does some really beautiful panels in here. That one's one of my favourites. Uh, a very confused and ill-looking Batman version for War, and that's the the very uh, ugly villain there. What's his name? Doctor Psycho. He looks like a psycho. My favourite one. And in Batman, and um, we've got some really good double panels there. Really almost like. Gothic art, really, which is um, really um, in keeping with the, the Batman mythos, so that's very good as well. So I'll, I'll give that a tie uh, because uh, I'm, I'm not going to mark somebody's art down because it's, it's dark and depressing. It's Batman; it's supposed to be dark and depressing. So, and but uh, the artwork in this one is also very good, so it'd be a, it'd be a tie between those two. Uh, next category: fun. Batman was just depressing. I don't want to read that one again. I don't want to be depressed. I don't want to be a teenager again. It sucked. Um, so Batman. Uh, Trinity War. Yeah, it was very exciting. And I can't wait to see what happens next. There's loads of twists and turns and reveals. Lots of different characters with all interacting with each other. All these things happening. And um, I can't wait to re uh, read this one again after this review just to see if I've missed anything. So it was that much fun. The so Trinity War wins that one. And the next category you might laugh at. That's uh, it's something that I talk about in my reviews quite often. It's a um, New World Order uh, Police State stuff. Or revealing anything about this world of 2013. Uh, Batman, um, as a character in Batman, he's putting stuff on his computer and he thinks that um, by um, deleting things, then it will actually be properly deleted. He doesn't seem to be aware that we're living in a police state and that everything you do on a computer is being recorded 
that's, that's been omitted over the last few weeks, but it's been known for decades. I'm surprised that Scott Snyder doesn't know that by now. Uh, it really says a lot about Scott Snyder that he's not aware that we're actually living in a police state, an admitted police state now, that everything's been recorded, as revealed by Edward Snowden just a couple of weeks ago. Right, we've got um, in the uh, Trinity War, uh, we've got Amanda Waller. She um, admits to using moles to infiltrate groups opposed to US foreign policy. And that happens in the real world as well. Um, whenever you've got an opposition group to anything, anything that's always to do with banks and corporations, that's what governments, um, that's, what, that's what they do nowadays. That's why government's there, is, is there to control the people and help the banks and corporations. So this Am Amanda Waller is um, using the moles just like um, American government would use FBI models to infiltrate uh, the Occupy um, Wall Street movements, which is being admitted now. Uh, normally, when it goes to court, and they're, they're trying to um, uh, and charge people with with bizarre things, uh, normally on um, normally things that have been set up by the FBI models who have infiltrated the groups. So we're doing again Trinity War. Um, last category. Uh, does it reveal something about the human condition? Now, Batman reveals that um, if your parents die in front of you when you're young, you might turn out to be a bit weird when you grow up, and you might be a bit of a depressing character. No, Sherlock, you know what I mean. And uh, Trinity War. Um, there's a fantastic quote here from Dr. Psycho. He says at the beginning of, of the book, as we, as we first introduced to him, as he's torturing people, You ugly people. Go. You ugly people who think ugly thoughts. That's Dr. Psycho. And then when the Martian Manhunter actually gets inside his head and gets him to tell the truth, he's um, Dr. Psycho in it, I am an ugly little man. So what that uh, reveals to me is the, the true nature of evil, um, taking out your frustrations on other people because uh, deep down inside you know that you, you yourself are ugly. So you're proje projecting what you are onto other people, as lots of evil people obviously do. Right, so I'm revealing something about the human condition again. Trinity War wins heads up in my book. That's all my categories done. Uh, let's give a quick conclusion there. All right. Trinity War as a whole. It's probably one. It's probably the best one. It's probably um, the best of the uh, of the four so far. Um, love this one. I give it a strong nine out of ten. A uh, Batman. A big pile of depressing dogs crap. I'll give this one a four out of ten, and it's now off my call list. Goodbye, Batman. No longer depressing me. Life's depressing enough about Batman stomping around making it even more depressing. Oh, and, and the back up story sucks as well for Batman. So that's the, that's the end of my verses with you. Um, if you've read the comments yourself, then um, let me know what you think. Um, um, Batman, thumbs down. Trinity War, thumbs up. Bye bye. Hope you enjoyed the review. Um, we'll be back later with another review, I expect. See ya. Bye.